We have a problem, a very serious problem is coming to California. It's already here, the disease is not here, but we have already the insect that transmits the disease. Do you like oranges? Do you like citrus in general? Everybody likes citrus. Do you have a citrus tree in your backyard? In your patio? Okay. And, and many people not only have citrus plants, they have also other types of plants. Uh, uh, how do you call those Gardeners. <laughs> I can always remember, but you, no, 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 not necessarily vegetables, but some, some citrus-related plants that are uh, more ornamental than, than for eating purposes, and those plants can also be affected. So the Asian citrus psyllid is smaller than the, uh, than the aphids, and this insect transmits a very, very bad disease. It's called the Huang Long Bing disease. This is a Chinese name. It was first discovered in China in 1920, so that's why it has a, a Chinese name. And that disease has been traveling from Asia, moving to uh, the northern part of India and other countries, the northern part of Africa, then it came to South America and Chile and start going, and uh, Brazil start going up, and now it's in the Caribbean, and finally reached Florida. About five years ago, we reached Florida. When it reached Florida, I don't know if you're familiar with the oranges from Florida. They are not better than the ones from California, but they, they have a very large industry over there. They have about, they had about one million acres of citrus in, in, in Florida. Today, five years later, they only have about half a million. They lost 50% of the production fields in Florida due to this disease. There is nothing that we can do to fix a tree that is infected with this disease. There is no vaccines, there is no antibiotics, there is nothing. So if a tree is infected, we have to kill it, we have to remove it. Completely, including scum. We cannot leave anything, because if it regrows, it's going to regrow with the disease. The problem is, this little insect that is moving around feeds on that tree, and as soon as the insect feeds on the tree, it's going to get contaminated. And it is contaminated for the rest of the life of the insect, and it's going to be jumping from tree to tree, transmitting the disease. This little insect, the Asian citrus psyllid, is already in California. It is in LA County. So we have to do everything possible to avoid that insect from coming into Ventura County. Ventura County is one of the largest or, uh, citrus producers in Southern California. Uh, San Diego County, Imperial County, Riverside County also has citrus, but they don't have any more. The only place that are citrus left right now is in Ventura County. We have about 24,000 acres in Ventura County that we can lose in a period of five years. The problem is also that this insect not only goes to the commercial production field, it goes everywhere. If you have a citrus tree in your house, it's going to go there. If you have ornamentals that are citrus related, have a seed. We're talking about a very interesting disease. You like oranges? Yes. Okay. We're talking about something that may eliminate the citrus industry in Ventura County. And we don't want that to happen. So we need the help from everyone. Okay? I work with the University of California, but everybody, the University of California, the Farm Bureau, the um, Agricultural Commissioner's Office, what else? every single agricultural related institution at this time is trying to tell everybody the story. And we want you to help us tell the story to all the people. Talk to your neighbors, okay? This disease is very serious. You can eliminate the citrus production in California. And at this time, I don't know if you know something, but in Southern California, we have more citrus in your backyards than in commercial production. Do you know that? No. And this insect that I'm talking about can affect those citrus. So if you like your citrus in the backyard, you have to be very careful. You have to inspect those trees at least once per month. Look in the growing points. When you see the flowers, when you see the, the little leaves, these insects like to feed on this new growth. Look underneath the leaf and you're going to see these little brownie points. Or um, uh, you can look with a magnifying glass and you can see 
the larvae. The bird is much, much, much smaller. But you can see a little waxy tubules that they create in order to throw away their, uh, their fecal matter. If we allow this insect to come to Ventura County, we have the possibility of losing 24,000 acres of citrus that we have in commercial production, plus everything that is in the backyard. We need to be very serious with this. We cannot let this insect live here in Ventura uh, County. What can we do? Look for the insect. Don't transmit, don't, don't, don't move the citrus from uh, county to county. Eat whatever is produced locally, plant whatever is produced. Make sure that if you are going to plant the citrus plant, it is produced from a plain source. At this time, we have quarantines in Imperial Valley, San, uh, uh, San Diego County, Riverside County, and Los Angeles County. All of these are in quarantine. We cannot move citrus materials from one county to the other. Ventura County is not, at this time, under any quarantine. But if we don't do anything, we are going to be freezing and quarantine and we will lose their citrus production. So look for the insect, check your plants, and if you find something that you don't know what it is, talk to the University of California, the phones are in the, the numbers and in the phone book, talk to the Act Commissioner's office, talk to the Farmers uh, Bureau, talk to anybody. And talk to your neighbors too. They need Hanson to know about it. The Hanson Agricultural Center. We are part of the University of California. Okay? Any questions? Let's make it short and sweet. Let's go out there and be detectives and look for that insect. We cannot have it here.